I'm listening. I swear, I'm listening. So, you guys asked for this. A couple of you guys asked for this, so I'm, I'm gonna talk about it for a little bit. What's the best program to use when editing video? There's a lot of questions about that, but there's only one real answer. And the answer is whatever works for you. Now, if you have a Mac or if you have a PC, your options kind of vary. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the top editing softwares that I have used and basically what I could suggest for you to use. First off, everybody who has a MacBook or uh, a Mac computer has iMovie. It's free, it comes with it. Best editing software, period. That's the best editing software, it's free. It gets the job done. If you have a Mac, it comes standard with it. It's yours, you can have it. The good thing about iMovie is it's easy, it's simple. The learning curve for it is, is shorter. You can watch a few videos on YouTube and you'll be able to edit a, a video. Final Cut and iMovie use similar editing techniques. So if you know how to edit an iMovie, you kinda know how to edit in Final Cut. So basically, iMovie is just simple. I mean, you go in here, you uh, get started, like it says, and then you can um, just get like right into it. So create new, bam, and drop all your clips right in here. And also you have access, oh, you, you ain't supposed to see that picture. Uh, <laughs> you have access to everything in your, your library. So you can drag and drop your library stuff right down into here. It's cool, so I have like, I got a whole bunch of videos still up here. Oh, actually these are photos, so look, look a little card. So basically you can drag and drop things in here and also you can drag in and shorten things as well, which is really cool. So I like that feature, but that same feature is also in Final Cut. So if you know how to do that here, you can do it there as well. And then if I wanted to drag something else in here, let's say card over here, we can shorten and do that. And let's see if there's any any other features in here that have, see, you can also put clips over top of clips. And a lot of times I do that, I'll, I'll transition clips over top of clips like that. And that's something that's relatively new to iMovie. iMovie didn't used to be able to do that. So they've been upgrading iMovie as the years have gone past and adding some features that I didn't know about. So look at what that looks like. Bam, bam, see look at that. You know, very simple, very easy, and you can make a movie very quickly on iMovie. Now you can do a lot of the same stuff on Final Cut, but the thing I like about this is that you don't have a whole bunch of distractions and other things in there. Um, the pluses that Final Cut has, let's talk about that stuff. So let's get out of iMovie. And here goes, here goes Chance. <laughs> Um, let's get out of iMovie and let's go into Final Cut. Now Final Cut, if you look at Final Cut, it looks a little bit more intimidating. Seems like every time I do one of these videos here, this guy is here. Okay, so basically in Final Cut, it's a lot, it's a lot more distractions here. Um, but it's good if you know what you're doing and this is what you want to do. But if you don't want to do these things, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't even want to touch this like and if you're intimidated by these type of softwares then I would stay away from Final Cut. But the good thing about Final Cut is it has added features so if you do want to do a little bit more you can do that up here. Like for instance on Final Cut you can make animations or animate clips. So uh, basically all this stuff over here you can move clips to to fit in the screen the way you want to or shrink them and do different things like that. And you have more freedom here, but with more freedom comes more responsibility, right? Isn't that right, uh, Chancy? Yes. So, you can animate clips better. You can um, shrink and resize things and put them where you want to. You can do a lot more animated stuff on Final Cut. Um, and also they have some added features like uh, color correction that is really nice. But if you don't do color correction, then there's no point to have a Final Cut. So for me, Final Cut works the best. I love Final Cut. I love it because I do like to animate some things. I, I tend to animate some things every now and then. I also typically don't use a lot of the features that it does offer, offers, but when I'm doing a project or some type of film or something that I'm working on, then I would use that stuff and I need it. So that's why I like Final Cut better than iMovie because it has features that I do need. Now if you don't need these features, like I said, iMovie is the place to go. Now the last thing is if you have a PC. 
If you have a PC, obviously these things won't be available to you. Now the only thing, I, I, don't, I don't operate with a PC, but the only program that I know of that I've worked with and that I could recommend is Premiere Pro. Um, Adobe has Premiere Pro, which is a program that allows you to do color correction, animation, video editing, editing very similar to how you can in Final Cut. In a lot of cases, they have better features as far as color correction and things like that. Hey, okay, so to recap all of that, basically, I would say to you, figure out what you need to use. Figure out what you need to use it for and how you're gonna use it, right? I wouldn't go out and buy a $300 program just to um, edit video with, right? If you want to edit video, I would just use the programs that are available to you. Like if you have a, if you have a MacBook, I would use iMovie. It's perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't feel that there's something out there better if all you're gonna be doing is editing video. Now if you wanna add animation and you wanna do some color correction and you have a MacBook, then I will go with Final Cut Pro. But if you don't have a MacBook and you have a PC and you wanna do films like I do where I have a mixture of some type of animation, video editing, color correction, I would say the best thing for you is to go ahead and get Premiere Pro. Now, there are other programs out there, but I don't know too much about them, so I can't recommend them. So if you guys know of any out there for PC and for Mac, let me know in the comments below. Let everybody know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope that was helpful. Peace.